in the wet tropics, uh, we've got limited windows. As you know, it rains a lot up here. So we need to be able to get a lot across a lot of our country. And uh, what we found is uh, in the returns, we, we have a lot of balloon vine and wild rose, that sort of stuff. So the ability to go through with a, a knockdown early has really allowed us to um, keep on top of a lot of stuff so that when we're at the out of, out of hand stage, uh, we can go with a lot softer chemicals. And uh, yeah, not so much pre-emergent. And uh, we find that we can get over probably 80, 90 acres a day with this machine. And Here we've got rear wheel steer. Uh, works like a forklift uh, to turn into your row. You can pivot the, the inside wheel and just go straight into the row without knocking any cane over. It's, it's hydraulically driven, the same as the other two. So you've got three wheel drive. You've got no, um, no dragging of your back wheel. So uh, it's, it's probably twice as um, good in wet conditions because it's not having to drag a wheel. It's all, uh, all goes through a, a big dog trailer double bearing turntable. Uh, we drive it through a uh, excavator rotary um, coupling. coupling and uh, two steering cylinders up top which uh, give us 120 degrees from lock to lock. Uh, we adjust the wheel tra track by a parallelogram system and that allows the wheel to walk its way back. It, uh, it also shortens the wheelbase at the same time. So um, getting across uh, narrow bridges and crossings and uh, also being um, able to drive it on the highway. So um, yeah, that's all done by a parallelogram setup, which we've got indicator cylinders in the, in, um, in the system so that we can at any, you know, in the cab see the, actually where their wheels are. So you're not having to um, look outside. Same as a base cutter indicator on a harvester. Um, all the, the whole system here moves underneath the walkways. The walkways are fixed. So there's no uh, worry about anyone getting caught in the system when, it's, um, when you're pulling it in or out. Rightio, well here we, we've got two 1,000 litre tanks here, belly tanks, and uh, one's, here's our uh, chemical pump box here. So basically we've got a, a, a bottom tank and a high tank and uh, basically yeah, you use your quick, quick connect here, connect onto your quick connect, put your chemicals into your venturi box over in your water cart and then whether you're filling the bottom tank or the top tank you just open those valves. Uh, we've uh, also got it so at the end of the day uh, you can totally flush all your system by just shutting your suctions here and uh, opening to the water, that flushes all your sprays. And uh, you can interconnect the two tanks if you're doing a common chemical. Uh, just interconnect through this interconnection valve. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it's quite compact. The tanks allows us to use uh, two different lots of chemical. So we've uh, applying our gramoxones and atrazines and that through these bottom nozzles. And the top ones here are our uh, hormones, our two four Ds, star rain, that sort of stuff. I've got a double-ended ram here that can be uh, controlled from the cab, so these can all go up uh, together. Then you can also vary the, the height of uh, the top spray to the bottom just by adjusting this. Um, the sprays have all got a, a spring system into them, so if you get into heavy vine, there's a bit of uh, float back. And that tends to just float over the vine. Uh, well, I think we just needed to build our own machine to make it suit, and uh, we built in the shed here. Um, between the three of us and a few other helpers, we um, produced the whole thing in the shed. Mark did the welding, I did the turning. Well, the painting's done by Tony, and um, yeah, she's the old farmer know-how and made it how we wanted it.